Hey, what's going on everyone? So I hope everyone had a nice holiday and you all brought in the new year well. We're all looking forward to 2013. Let's do it. So in this video, I wanna talk a little bit about RAM memory. I know everyone's aware of what's RAM, but I feel like not everyone has a deep understanding of how it works or how it really affects all the digital devices that people use. Oh, I have like one gig of RAM in my old computer, but my MacBook Pro has like eight gigs of RAM. So why is it better to have more RAM? Well, with more RAM, your computers and smartphones can do more things and run more programs at the same time, right? Yes, you are right. Most people can't really explain RAM beyond that point, so that's where I'm gonna to try to help out a little bit. Lesson number one is pretty simple. We're just gonna divide memory into two categories. The first category is memory that can hold onto its data when there's no electricity running through it and it's not plugged into anything. So this includes your thumb drives, hard drives, different type of flash drives, you can carry it around, unplug it from your computer, and it still holds all your data. The second type of memory is memory that loses all its data when there's no power attached to it. The memory commonly known to everyone as RAM is that type of memory. And when there's no electricity, there's nothing in it. So when you first power up your smartphone, the RAM, this container, is completely empty. On the other hand, your smartphone's hard drive or flash memory has all this stuff and it's still there even with no electricity this hard drive is going to have your android or your ios it has angry birds and all that good stuff waiting to be run once your smartphone powers on let's talk briefly about a computer processor or it's sometimes known as the brain of the computer it's doing all the processing and it's running all the software and programs that are running on your smartphone or your laptop in order for the computer processor to run any type of program the program has to exist in this memory. When your phone boots up and this memory is empty, how does the processor run anything? Okay, so I lied a little bit. The computer processor can run a little bit of simple software that doesn't have to be in here. Right when your smartphone boots up, it looks in its big memory for the operating system. It's able to take out the operating system, Android, and it's gonna load that into the memory so the processor can run it. The phone started up and we load the operating system into the memory and now the processor can run it. Remember, the processor can only run software that's existing in this memory. Now that this is done, we start loading all our smartphone apps like Angry Birds and Facebook and Twitter and all that stuff. But we have to first go to our flash memory and get all that stuff and put it in here. So I'm gonna load Facebook into memory. I can load Angry Birds into memory. I can load the Orange application into memory. Now we have all these different programs, also known as a process, which exists in the RAM and can be run by the computer's processor. So remember, this RAM is finite. You know, one gigs, two gigs, four gigs, or eight gigs. So what happens when you wanna run this garage opener application, but there's no more room left in the memory to put it? Your smartphone doesn't just blow up and deny you the ability to run this garage opener. It has to move programs in the RAM back into disk to make room for this guy. If we want to make room for this, we're going to take out the orange application and move it back to the other memory. And now we have room for this to run. But what if we want to go back and use the orange application? We have to move something else out of the way and put the orange one back in. So this is why having a larger RAM is better. You can fit more software that can be run by the processor and you don't have to go back to your slow hard drive or flash memory to get any of your programs. The process I was showing you where you move programs in and out of memory and the slow hard drive stuff, that process is known as paging and it's really slow. There's too many apps running, there's too much paging going on. So when you run control delete or Android task killer, what you're really doing is just taking programs that aren't being run by the processor from here and you're just taking them out of your memory to free it up. All right, so that's the end of the video. I could talk for days about this stuff actually, but I just wanted to share a little bit about RAM and what it means. I hope if you watch this, you learned something. I'll see you guys next time.